even mention the video on the insinuation about the so-called Iranian drones purportedly used in Ukraine. Some material and evidence is comical in nature. There is a widespread uh, 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 picture of, of uh, President Zelensky allegedly with a Shahid zone. Here's the photograph. The scale, the size of this drone, the shade drone, is three meters long and two meters uh, 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 width of uh, wings. We also received letters from Ukraine, France, Germany, and the United Kingdom concerning alleged transfers of unmanned aerial vehicles from Iran to the Russian Federation in a manner inconsistent with paragraph 4 of Annex B. The United Kingdom and Ukraine also provided photographs and their analysis of the UAEs recovered in Ukraine. The two countries assessed the devices to be of Iranian types Shahed 131 Shahed 136 and Mahajer 6, and that they were transferred by the Islamic Republic of Iran in a manner inconsistent with Resolution 2231. Their assessment was based on comparison with debris of other UAV attacks in the Middle East and with imagery of Iranian UAVs available via open sources. France, Germany, Ukraine, the United Kingdom, and the United States also reiterated their request for the Secretariat to examine the debris of these UAVs in Kiev or any other suitable location in letters to the Secretary General and President of the Security Council and in statements to the Council and media. The permanent representatives of Iran and the Russian Federation disputed the imagery and evidence provided by the United Kingdom and Ukraine of the UAVs, as well as the claim by France, Germany, Ukraine, and the United Kingdom that Iran had transferred UAVs to the Russian Federation in a manner inconsistent with Resolution 2230 run, noting that the accusations were not substantiated by evidence. The armed forces of Ukraine also intercepted UAVs marked as Geran 1 and Geran 2. After detailed technical examination, these UAVs appear to be UAVs Shahed 131 and Shahed 136, respectively capable of delivering payloads to a range greater than 300 kilometers. They were just renamed with the Russian names Giran 1 and Giran 2. Despite numerous official denials and statements, Iran continues to transfer the transfer of the UAVs to the Russian Federation. They are then used by Putin's regime not only as a weapon on the battlefield, but as a method of warfare against highly populated areas and critical infrastructure of Ukraine. Moreover, the competent authorities of Ukraine possess still more alarming information about the intention of the Russian Federation to continue further attacks on Ukraine with more advanced Iranian ballistic missiles and UAV systems. The government of Ukraine assesses that the transfer of UAVs from Iran to the Russian Federation constitutes a flagrant violation of the UN Security Council resolution. We mentioned the video 
on the insinuation about the so-called Iranian drones purportedly used in Ukraine. Some material and evidence is comical in nature. There is a widespread uh, 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 p picture of, of uh, President Zelensky allegedly with a Shahid zone. Here's the photograph. The scale, the size of this drone, the shade drone, is three meters long and two meters uh, 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 width of uh, wings. So uh, thereby, the uh, president would have to, the Ukraine would have to be two and a half meters high. Uh, so these fake images have already been circulating on the internet. Other material evidence includes unintelligible photographs of certain debris which where nothing at all points to their Iranian origin. What else can we say here if in letters and materials that authors themselves are not confident in the substantiation of their conclusions. The goal is to lift responsibility from uh, uh, from uh, London for providing credible information. This is starkly attested to by, for example, references to certain initial assessments which speak to the UK side not even concluding the process of a so-called study of those purported Drones. The use of the so-called documents entailing inconsistent photos and questionable open sources information and abusing UN procedures to release it as evidence of alleged violation as Ukraine and the UK have done is unprofessional, deceptive and constructive. Unconstructive. I must reiterate once again that repeated requests to the Secretariat to conduct the so-called investigation lack a legal basis, neither Resolution 2231 nor the relevant Note 44 by President of the Security Council authorized such an unlawful mandate. Any finding or conclusion by the Secretariat based on such illegal activities is null and void.